Uh, in other news, Sam Pittman still fighting for bowl eligibility. Razorbacks go into Gainesville, get a three-point win in overtime. And I'm just back to the question, who's Florida? And I'm even more aggravated with this because we lost to them. <laughs> and we scored uh, 23, doing rough math off the top of my head, I think we scored 23 less points than this Arkansas team did. And they've got numerous, numerous less weapons than yeah. than Tennessee had even at that time. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to start a petition for Tennessee to play Florida later in the year. Uh, I'm going to have to start a petition for Georgia. And, well, you know, that's their that's Florida's only neutral game. So that's the cocktail party's got to go away. Everybody gets to play in the swamp. If you play Florida, you play in the swamp, unless it's a ball game uh, or you're hosting them. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I mean – I don't know what else to say. I can't believe this result. We talked about this. I think we've talked about this multiple weeks, not just leading into week 10. That was Florida's easiest remaining game. Oh, I mean, yeah. you only need one more to get to a bowl. And and look, it was a whole lot different path to a bowl to bowl eligibility in 2023 because you started out much better than you did in 2022. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, you're talking about at LSU, at Missouri, and hosting the best Florida State team that we've seen since Jimbo and Jameis left town. Jimbo, they're about to eat a dub. Yeah, uh, <laughs> highlighting Florida at LSU, they're already 14-point dogs. Woo! Man, I wonder – I wonder that's a, that's a crazy number because, I mean, you you have to think if Jaden Daniels got a concussion, there's a decent chance he could not play in that game. So Vegas just doesn't care? I, who knows? I I don't know. I mean, Vegas always knows something that we don't, right? Yeah, they do. Um, man, I just this this Florida program is a mess. And, you, you know, we thought that they would have a tough time this year, possibly win three, four games. Tennessee losing in, in Gainesville helps them get one more, whatever that ends up being. But if they finish five and seven and they show up to play that 2024 schedule that they have, I mean, what's the cutoff for Napier? Seriously, what 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 number saves his job in twenty twenty four, facing that schedule that we know is just ridiculous? You're breaking in another new quarterback. Well, at least new to your school. You know, Graham Mertz is going to be gone, uh, so it's either going to be a youngster that you've got, or you're going to go into the portal and get another Mertzian top quarterback. But we've talked about that schedule at length for twenty twenty four. I mean, mm-hmm. what number of wins mm-hmm. would Napier need to have to next year to 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 stay? The floor's got to be eight, right? I mean, in year three, least, in year at three, at least, I would say at least eight. You know, look, they're gonna look hosting Kentucky, LSU, Ole Miss, Texas A and M, cocktail party, traveling to Mississippi State. That's your easiest road game, okay? Because you're also going to Texas and you're going to Knoxville. Yeah, I mean, you you have to win eight, and I don't even you know that's not mentioning Florida State yet again. Yeah, who look on a totally different trajectory than they've been on. Yeah, that's brutal. Yeah, Florida out here starting in the next series for the Hunger Games, just seeing if they can survive. Yeah, dude. I mean, that's absolutely brutal. Brutal scheduling. Props to them uh, for doing, you know, for for some of their scheduling strengths. You know, they actually left the state of Florida this year in a non-conference game, which they've not done in forever. I don't see it paying off in the long run. Um, I, I don't like anything about them right now other than recruiting, and anyone and everyone should recruit to Florida. For sure. Well, Florida's going to sell itself. So, there's always going to be that. Well, props to Arkansas and Sam Pittman for going down there and getting that done. Pandemonium reigns. 